Hello and good news as always, my fellow subscribers. My name is Ultima. Welcome to Finding Faces Bats in our awesome episode in Ruby Chibi. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people getting upset over this series, and honestly, I don't see why. People are just like, oh, you need to stop making this trash, and you just need to get the season four of Ruby. Honestly, this is pretty good stuff. It's pretty short, sweet, and it's pretty damn hilarious. So, with that said, let's have a good time here and let's enjoy ourselves with what Rooster Teeth has to offer us here. In today's episode, let's do it. All right, it's showtime, everyone. Let's enjoy ourselves with another good session to one of my favorite, most favorite series of all time, that being Ruby. Let's see what we got here. This should be fun. Hey, uh, Weiss, Schnee, this is Jean, Ark, of the Ark family. The Last awkwardness is, is strong in this one. Anyways, I was wondering what you were doing Saturday night, because I'm doing, uh, nothing. Um... <laughs> Which means I could be doing something with you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Epic fail for the win, I love it. Give a Pira! Oh my god. Fire! So awesome. <laughs> oh god. Wait! Gone. She got blown the fuck back. Wow. I'm guessing you didn't get my call earlier. Maybe the tower's messing up or something. I mean... There's no way you would get my message and not call me back, right? I mean, that's that'd be rude. My boy Jean can never catch a break. You're definitely not, you know, playing those messages for the rest of Team Ruby and laughing. Laughing. He's thinking the worst. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do that, right? That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God, he's Ted, fearing the worst. It. You're it. You're it. Why is Blake such it, a godly it, ninja? Oh Blake, my goodness. You are <laughs> this is great. <laughs> she literally has ascended out of a fawns and turned into a goddess of a ninja. My All goodness. right, Ice Queen. I've had it up to here. It's oh one my. thing to deny a guy, but it is another thing to ignore him entirely. Jean's if triggered. you were here right now, I would give you a piece of my mind. Bye, Jean. Oh my god. Hi. <gasps> Weiss, what's up? Uh... What's going on? <laughs> Not much. I'm just looking for my scroll. I can't oh. remember where I put it. She doesn't even have her scroll. Oh. Weiss, I think I found your scroll. Break it! Break it! Yes! <laughs> he looks like a psychopath, but yeah, he actually has to hide his traces of those bad messages he sent. Oh my god. Wow. Right, I will see you later. So that just happened. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Oh, it's always a good. Oh my god, I just died to cuteness just now. Oh my sweet Jesus. Weiss kind of dislikes Y at first, but after a few seconds, she fell in love with him. And obviously so. Wait, what? <laughs> really? Blake, you're still playing hide and seek with Y? <laughs> oh shit, that's good stuff. Oh my goodness, when Zwei eventually finds you, oh my goodness, when that time comes, I don't know what he'll do. Actually, I kind of know what he'll do. He'll probably just wind up kissing Blake to death, basically, with lots of love and affection. And, Sean! Oh my god, dude! She's not that into you. Mike, you need to get it through your head that Weiss is just not that into you. And that, honestly, why are you wasting your time with Weiss Schnee when you have Pira Nikos who actually likes you? Well, I, my opinion is actually better than Weiss. Just both aesthetically so, and the fact that she's a badass supreme warrior. I'm sorry, but Pira's my favorite character, and it just breaks me every single time when I see Jean chasing after someone he knows that deep down he can't get. It's just like Naruto. In the beginning, Naruto loved Sakura, and wanted nothing more than to be with that person, but Sakura had no interest in Naruto whatsoever. However, low-key, there was a girl who's actually ten times better than Sakura by the name of Hinata. Hinata loved Naruto, but because... Naruto's absolutely oblivious and kind of an idiot. He didn't realize that there was a girl that's ten times better than the one he was chasing after that loved him the entire time. Same with Jean. It's literally the same love triangle. I'm guaranteeing you it's the same love triangle. But I really did enjoy this episode and it was a lot of good fun as I predicted. So honestly, I expected nothing less. And I look forward to seeing what Rooster Teeth has in store for us in the next episode. I'm not sure how long they're hoping to take this uh, season one to Ruby Chibi, but that remains to be seen. I guess only time will tell, my friends. On this note, I hope you guys and gals were able to enjoy yourselves as much as I did. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like or a dislike down below. Either way, it helps out support the channel, and I wholeheartedly appreciate your support. On this note, my name is Ultima. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next video of whatever I decide to make. It could be absolutely anything. Thank you so much for watching. I can never say this enough.